So my name's Stephen Ellis, I work locally for Red Hat. I've been involved in and around the open source ecosystem for something in excess of 20 years, though, it appears. Um, I'm currently on the NZ OSS Council, the New Zealand Open Source Society. How many of you here are members? How many of you here are paid members? Same people, this is good. <laughs> then the rest of you should consider joining. Now, we might be in a little bit of stealth mode at the moment. We're trying to rebuild our infrastructure, put up a new website, and make it easier for you to pay us to be a member. And why is that important? Well, A, the old way was painful. B, we need your help to continue the evangelism and outreach that we actually perform on your behalf. So the recent ITX uh, conference in Wellington, there was a whole open source stream facilitated and managed by NZOSS. We're working closely with other outreach groups like Internet NZ, RISE, and so forth locally to promote the use of open source, open data, and drive open government. So Dave Lane, our president's regularly in Wellington helping facilitate those things. We also help with events like the New Zealand Open Source Awards that are coming up soon. We've been helping with the uh, team that are going to be running Linux Conf AU next year in Christchurch, which I'll come to shortly. And, and there's a whole bunch of other little background tasks as well as providing infrastructure for other open source groups. This includes things like Rocket Chat, Mastodon, a New Zealand hosted GitHub service that your projects can consume, sorry, GitLab service, get the right one, that your projects can consume and try and keep data and services within New Zealand rather than offshore. So it's a small team, but we're trying to do a lot on your behalf. Paid membership just helps us with a little bit of a war chest so that you know, we, we can do more things, do more outreach, but also try and help fund other groups and other open source projects around the edge of what's going on in New Zealand. So please try and get involved. The other thing going on is the fact that Linux Conf AU is coming back to New Zealand next year. It's going to be held at the University of Canterbury in late January. The conference focus is on the Linux of Things. So how many of you have been to Linux Conf AU? How many of you have heard of it? Well, not all of you. So Linux Conf AU is a community-run, open-source-focused conference that moves between Australia and New Zealand. It's run by volunteers. Each year it's a new team in a new location, but the theme is always the same. It's about what's best in open source today and also about where is it going. I've often said to colleagues that Linux Conf AU tells me about where open source is going to be in two to three years' time, as well as giving me a grounding on what are we doing to succeed in open source today. It's one of the most invigorating conferences I've ever had the pleasure of attending. It's one of the most crazy conferences to ever have the pleasure of running. For then of you who were there in 2015, that was a hell of a journey. <laughs> and my wife and I have been there as um, um, uh, guides and facilitators for some of the Christchurch team that are running in 2019. For the purposes of uh, clarity, my wife is also on the Linux Australia Council, whilst I'm on the New Zealand Open Source Society Council. I'm British and she's a Kiwi. We like mixing things up. It's good. But please have a look. The program will be announced shortly. The papers team have had to wade through close to 400 submissions, I think, in total for uh, around 70 to 80 main conference slots and a bunch of mini comps and other things. One of the greatest strengths of this conference is all the content's made available. All the sessions are recorded and published online. And that's great because it's freely available for everybody to consume after the conference. But there's nothing quite like being in the room when Linus Torsvald tries to uh, debug the kernel on someone's laptop because it crashed. <laughs> or when your keynote presenter is wandering around with a red nose explaining how we've bonzo-fired open source development. And some other amazing, enlightening, and, and truly awe-inspiring sessions over the course of a full week's worth of food. It might be called Linux Conf AU, but it's actually possibly one of the best open source conferences in the world. And it does get speakers from all over the world. So put it in your diary, watch for when we announce the ticket, well they announce, it's not my conference this year, honest. They announce the ticket pricing and availability. And just put it in your diary. 
take a week out, bend your boss's arm, make them pay for it, and you will go back evangelizing, inspired, enthused about what's the best in open source today. All right, so thank you for your time, and on with the show.